start this off, I just burp. <laughs> no, wait. There's another one. Alright then, so hello one, this is me again, Vincent, and if you can hear me, there's a good thing if I'm too loud, then I had to check it out though and lower the volume down in my voice though. And if you hear any sound in the background, there's a TV playing in front of me though and stuff going on though. So as one of the videos though, I did this at the end of uh, last, no not last year, the end of 2019 New Year. On Instagram I posted my tier list of uh, Godzilla movies. So I decided for this year, why not make a video on that though, since I would think you guys would be interested though, since I already did before say my top favorite Godzilla movies, um, before they actually, and, and I just noticed that the movies are all out of order. <laughs> though I had these all in order, but now all of a sudden they just decided to scramble them, cause why not? Though, so I'm doing one of these tier list things, it might be, um, not as popular anymore or whatever though, but I figured why not make a video of this though and just uh, show you this though. So um, what I'm going to do is go in order from chronological order from the first movie all the way to this list goes to um, King of the Monsters. There's no uh, Godzilla vs. Kong or Singular Point or anything on this. So the 98 movie and all the American ones are on here and the three anime movies. So uh, I guess let's just jump right in though. So if you guys haven't seen uh, uh, godzilla I do go more in depth in what I think of the movie, of each of these movies, though in detail, and my opinions on them. So if you want to see my reviews of, uh, or what I think of all these movies, though, more detail, though, watch my godzilla Though there should be a playlist on my channel, though, if you guys want to see it, though. though so I'm not going to go super in detail with this though so if you want to know what I think of the movies just go to Godzilla Thon though yet again like I said so let's jump right in though so the first movie Godzilla 54 though and you guys might have seen too um, at the end of my review of Godzilla King of the Monsters is that I had my top 10 uh, favorite Godzilla movies at the end of that though so if you have if you've seen that video it shouldn't be a surprise for a lot of this though but this is ranking all the movies though so um, 54, so automatically it goes into S tier. Um, over, I, over the, back when I was a kid though, I was one of those where I didn't really understand it though. Godzilla destroying buildings and stuff. I'm like, well, why isn't he fighting monsters? Though, um, and stuff though. But over a while, the more I watch it, the more I appreciate it. And the more now it's my favorite of the movies though. So, next movie is, um, uh, Godzilla Raids Again though. So, you guys should know that this is going all the way at the bottom in F tier. Uh, for being the second Godzilla movie, though, it's not my favorite. It just seems rushed. Um, nothing in it makes too much sense. Though, a lot of stuff is just irritating. Though, the fights are cool, but not much could save this movie, though. So, um, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Now, I don't think I put it in S tier. I like the movie a lot though, don't get me wrong though, I thought I think the movie, it's fun and really cool, it's awesome, we're getting the rematch in like two months though, so I think I put it in A tier, because I do enjoy the movie though, but it's not my like top 10 list, so it might be like top 15 though, so I might put it in A tier. Um, Godzilla vs. Mothra, I think that's S tier though, um, that's one of my other favorites, grew up watching that one. Though a lot though, it has a really cool Godzilla, the action, the human characters um, are interesting to sit with though, and all the stuff surrounding the movie. Um, it's really good though, so, which is next one? Uh, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, let me see if I can find it here. I think it was old, yeah, there it is. Um, I don't know, I don't remember, like, forgive me, but most of these, I don't remember what I said about each of these movies though, because my brain is always I have a selective memory though so I guess and it's been like since uh, like 2019 I reviewed all the movies I don't remember everything that I said though I think I said it was the same thing it was fine but it was it, it, it was in between like it was okay it wasn't the greatest thing though I think I'll put it in B tier though because it might be it I enjoy the movie but it's not like the top one that's like really good though um i think the same thing would have to be with uh invasion of astro monster i'm gonna put invasion of astro monster 
there though, so I'm I think the same thing though, but the movie that movie is still good though, but actually I would put yeah, I'm leaving Ghidorah Theater Monster there though because the human story does not go with the monster story whatsoever though with that stupid thing though, but I do like the the alien plot and stuff of uh, Monster Zero. So which is next? Uh, Godzilla vs. Sea Monster. Um, I'm not sure. I'll put it in D D tier because I think it, it's not my favorite of the movies though. It's nowhere near the best. It's just oh, another okay one though. Though I think though, but I wouldn't put it up higher than that though. So though it's not the worst thing like I said, but it's just not, it's not the greatest thing. Either though, it take the movie does take some time getting to Godzilla, though and the monster stuff though, and the human stuff is is interesting though, but not to an extent like um, uh, Godzilla vs. Moth or anything though. So Son of Godzilla, I do remember I said I do enjoy this one, so I will put it in A tier, though I like that movie, I like Minya, though it's really cool the 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 concept of the monster island and stuff, though and the human story is interesting and it goes with the the monsters though. So destroy all monsters. I don't remember what I said though. I think it's in between. I think it was pretty good. Though I think I'll put it same thing with AIDS here. Though the final fight is of course the big highlight, but it focuses more on the human characters though. Um, in the movie though than the monster stuff. But once you get the monster stuff, it's actually pretty good. Um, Godzilla's Revenge. Did I put Godzilla's Revenge in my top ten? I'll put it in A tier because I defend the movie. I like the movie, though, sure, people might say it's the worst, but the worst is, is right right there in F tier, so, um, you could tell my taste in, um, movies, and I watched them a shit ton when I was younger, so we're gonna get soon, right, it's already getting controversial here, cause I do not, um, I like Godzilla's Revenge, though, so, Godzilla vs. Hedra is next, um, same thing with that, I'll put it in A tier, though, because I like the weird psychedelic uniqueness of the movie though it's not bad in any way that doesn't make it bad though it has all the goofy silly stuff and Hedra's an interesting monster though and the environmental messages in the movie but um what it God's over sky again I remember I said I didn't say it was the worst movie it's not the best the stock footage stuff kind of kills it same thing with the human stuff though kind of kills it the monster action does not happen until like a few good hours into the movie and when it does again it just relies a lot on stock footage when i was sitting through it i thought it was cool but it was like it could have been better than what it was though but next is godzilla vs megalon though i don't remember where i put this at though i think i'll put it in b tier i do like the movie and it's crazy it's goofy child friendliness though in megalon Though in Jaguar, Jaguar is awesome, though. But I, I don't know if I put in A tier. I do like the movie though. It's just in between. Like it's, it's, it's fine for what it is though. I think. So next now is uh, Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla. Though um, now we're getting back to S tier because it was the first movie um, I remember seeing when I was younger though on TV, though back on Sci-Fi, and I loved the movie though. Like the the spy type of um, stuff going on with the aliens, you knowing the humans, the monster stuff though. And this is when, after Godzilla vs. Megalon, the movies were still kind of child friendly, but they were like taking it more seriously. Like they're like, alright, we ain't doing that goofy shit with Godzilla's flying and uh, and um, doing tail slides and shit. Like he's gonna have a worthy opponent, um, though that's gonna fuck him up, I guess. Um, Where's Terra Mechagodzilla's next, though? So let's see here. I think I said the same thing about this one. I'll put it in A tier because I like it just as much as Terra Mechagodzilla, though. But it isn't as cr it isn't like the same thing as it though. But it's still pretty good though. I do enjoy it. Now next we're moving on to the Heisei series or the '90s um, uh, series is um, Godzilla 1984, or the Return of Godzilla, or Godzilla 85, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I remember I said I enjoyed it, but it's not the, the same thing, the greatest thing. I'll put it in, uh, we don't have everything in C tier, it's C tier. I guess just to fill in, um, 
the space though. I just heard my head crack or something. I don't know what that was. Um, I'll put in seats here since there's nothing down there. It's not one I would revisit a lot though, but I do enjoy it though. But it's like an in-between, so it's like right in between the chart though. So um, next is Godzilla vs. Biollante. Now, um, I remember I said a lot in Godzilla Thon that a lot of the Heisei movies were... What's happening here? Um, were really good. I like a lot of the Heisei movies. So this is going in A tier because I like the story, the, the political climate. Um, of what's going on though and Biollante is one of my favorite Godzilla monsters though So next is Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Same thing. It's going in A tier because it has great special effects though um, The story the monster stuff and Godzilla's new origin though. It's really cool though um, same thing I think with Godzilla Mothra the battle for or earth or um, uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra 1992 Though, I think the movie's good, though, what it is, though, but actually, uh, dang. You know what? I'll put it in B tier. No, I'll leave it in, um, not B tier because, not A tier because, um, the movie's still good, though, but the thing is, like, Godzilla seems like he was a last minute, um, addition. Well, because the movie had several, like, script rewrites and, um, different movies they wanted to do, but they combined them all together, though, and Godzilla's just kind of, kind of there, though, but the movie's still good, though, for what it was what it is though so there you go um godzilla vs mecha godzilla 2 i said the same thing it's going in a tier i do enjoy that movie a lot though again those same thing it is a little better than um uh, uh battle for earth or godzilla vs martha though in the story and godzilla's son though and rodan's in that it's really cool um space godzilla godzilla vs space godzilla i think i'm putting this in d tier because it's not the greatest thing again in the world it's not the worst the movie is fine though but the the plots and stuff make no sense in the movie there's a lot of stuff that makes me confused and plus the movie feels very very rushed though like they just um threw it out there to get another movie out but it's going in d tier so oh my god this is getting annoying um so godzilla versus death destroyer now with this of course, you know, this is going in S tier right there, though, because I love that movie. The Godzilla vs. Destroyer is great, and the, other thing, the one thing I can sum it up by saying it's definitely a um, really, really good movie, though, um, for what it is, though. Actually, what it is, though. though. It's basically Godzilla taking on the devil and fighting death itself, though, and even himself because he's going through um, the pain of losing his son from Destroyer. And also himself, though, because of, um, like, the the burning, though, form he has here, though, in the movie, though, because his heart is becoming a nuclear reactor, and he's melting down, though, and, of course, everyone knows he dies in the movie, though, but S-tier for that. So now, 98, Godzilla 1998, or Gino-Zilla. I'm putting this in S-tier, because everyone should know it's one of my other favorite Godzilla movies though there I, I, well for what it is though if they took the name out and made it a different creature that's fine but I think I defend the movie though that I like the creature the the, the characters and plots are really or are, are whatever though but most of that does not kill the movie for me though the movie's fine for what it is though if you want to sit down and watch a monster movie I think it's good so now Godzilla 2000 I don't remember it's not well it's um a tier maybe yeah a tier though i think that movie's fine for what it is though it's not the greatest i do enjoy it though but it's kind of like so so with it though same thing it's like the so so um with it though actually i'll put it in well i'll keep it in uh, uh a tier though for, for right now um next godzilla vs megagirus uh same thing i'll put it in d tier because uh, it does have a weirder tone from the last movie, though, um, uh, it's fine for what it is, though, but it's not the best one, nor is it really the worst, though, so it's staying right there in D tier, though. Um, whoa, okay, see, I keep doing that, it's really making me bug out. GMK, S tier, enough said. <laughs> um, if you want a Godzilla movie that's, um, just as great, this King of the Monsters are even better though, really. Um, GMK, though, it has like the spiritual, um, 
uh, allegories and stuff, the monsters being protectors and Ghidorah being a good guy and Godzilla being the true um, spirit of, of destruction though. This Godzilla is angry and mean though and, and just nasty though. I love this movie though. Um, GMK is S tier. Um, against Mechagodzilla would have to be in uh, yeah A tier. I put it in A tier. I do like the human story. Um, Godzilla Mechagodzilla really cool in that movie though. A lot of the stuff is really good overall in that movie though so if you want it's really good i think i put tokyo sos in s tier if i do remember though because i enjoy that a little more than um uh, mecha godzilla though mothra's thrown in the story though it's kind of similar to uh godzilla versus mothra though and the stuff going on and it still continues the battle with uh godzilla and mecha godzilla though but some of the human stuff is kind of thrown a little bit not as strong as the last one but it's still a really good movie though i think personally now we're moving on to final wars though so mm, it's tough because i don't remember if i put on my top 10 though um let's put it in in a tier is that good a tier though or no actually i'm gonna switch this up a little bit though if you if you ask me though so there's yeah i think that's what that was though where where did i do the final ones oh i put it in in uh uh a tier I, i'm sorry i was quiet though i had to figure this out for a second the movie, I like the movie. It's really cool. All the monsters together, all the crazy fights and stuff. Even the humans are fighting in this movie. It's insane. But the thing is, I put an A tier because for some people and maybe me though, it is. It could be a little bit too insane though with all the stuff going on and people probably can't understand what's going on. All this crazy shit though. So it's an A tier. It's pretty good. Now we're moving into what you new kids call the Reiwa era, or as I just call it, the modern age of uh, Godzilla. Though. So 2014, though, actually I should move Terra Mecha Godzilla back to A tier because I remember 2014 is in S tier for me. I do agree with some complaints, but then I disagree with some complaints like, oh, Godzilla's not in the movie, too much the Mudos are unoriginal, though. Some of the stuff I think makes the movie for me, but then some stuff I could ignore. The, like some of the bland characters though brian cranston is great in the movie um i think the movie is fine from beginning to end though it does not get boring for me unlike a lot of people though but i think it deserves for me to be in the s tier so shin godzilla should be no surprise to anybody again s tier very unique interesting um godzilla love the design the political look on godzilla instead of like scientists or military people news reporters though it's like a more realistic take besides the legendary stuff on godzilla and again just love the godzilla design though in this movie though so next is um the, the anime truly trilogy <laughs> the anime movies though so uh i said the first movie planet of the monsters it's fine but it's one i wouldn't watch though so i am putting it in d tier it's not the worst though but i would not watch it again though it's it's sort of ha that's the thing about all three of these movies they have really cool unique ideas but they don't expand upon them and throw them out the window though they just don't do nothing with them uh the animation i'm not super into it but i like i'm still not I, I like the godzilla design it's fine it's cool but the thing is with the first one it has really not much new that we have not seen before though like some of the ideas again are fine though but again they throw them out the window and just resort to stuff um city on the edge of battle f tier it's the same thing as the first movie though except they add stuff but it never again it sinks into um the stuff they said just now though that does not expand upon anything it throws shit at you it's just the same thing nothing could save the movie and then of course um planet eater is the second worst godzilla movie for me though i absolutely hate planet eater 
You got fucking Garland Ghidorah floating around with his necks, though. This movie is super trippy, super religious, though, but it doesn't make sense, though, to somebody like me who is Christian. Um, it, it's too complicated, and when I watched the movie, it, it made me scream at my TV, though. I do not like playing the um, planet either it's the worst not even the fight with Godzilla and Ghidorah or, or not Ghidorah it didn't save the movie for me nothing in that movie made fucking sense anyways and did I just move that no I did I don't know what that was and last but not least my favorite Godzilla movie ever is King of the Monsters again I could look past all the flaws in the movie and what I see is a perfectly really cool awesome american take on godzilla and what i wanted to see for years though in theaters i just broke what i wanted to see in theaters and for a long time though since i was younger though to see a new godzilla though and all the monsters that i knew and grew up with all fighting in this new modern age though and i absolutely love the movie though and the poster right there though just says all though the colors and the cinematography though forget the critics and people who say that the movie's not good though i think it's absolutely great though i could look past the flaws though and again who knows maybe there could they could change some stuff in godzilla vs kong though but you never know though and if you want to know what i think of what godzilla vs kong gonna be you should watch my video um of my godzilla vs kong speculation also my i did an episode of it on my podcast Though I'm um, on Anchor, which is uh, Princeton 54 is Beyond the Monsters. I just posted something yesterday, if you guys did not um, see that though. Or the other day, I just posted something new on there though. So um, I think I'm done rambling here. This is my entire Godzilla tier list from S all the way to F. I'm going to save this. <laughs> though, wait, what happened? Yeah, sure. Just download it. <laughs> I like how. Yes, see, there you go. That's the entire tier list of Godzilla right there, though. The one lonely movie in C tier is 85 because, again, like I said, it's not the worst. It's right in the middle, though. It's uh, not the greatest, though, but it's not one I would revisit anytime soon. Same thing with D tier, though. So that's all the movies. A lot in A tier, though, and the top 10 is up in S tier. My favorite movies in the franchise. So, yep. So if you guys enjoyed my tier list, though, so this should give you an idea of what I think on all the movies. Um, maybe if they do an updated version with Godzilla vs. Kong and uh, Singular Point or whatever, though, and everything else, I might do another one of these, though. And maybe I'll do one on the Godzilla designs, though. That'd be cool. Though, I, I'll do one on that if you guys want me to, though. So, yep, so I just sold out all my stuff though there, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, expect more soon in the future so i'll see you guys all next time so rate comment share subscribe thumbs up thumbs down but you to see you next time and i am audi 5000 i'll see you guys all next time hey guys before the video starts i want to tell you yet again about my t public account you can visit it over there you know i have a bunch of artwork designs for t-shirts though and all types of unique and interesting designs though that relate to the topics and stuff that I talk about or other things I'm just into though. So if you're nerdy and if you want some unique cool designs for a t-shirt or anything else so you can just head over to my Tee Public. Though you can find my um, my account on Tee Public, which is Princeton 54's artwork shop or you can visit the link on my Facebook account to head right to my Tee Public account so you could Scroll down and see all the types of designs you can get them on. Not just t-shirts, but stickers and phone books and all types of stuff, though. All like home apparel and all types of things. So, again, visit Tee Public, which is Princeton 54's artwork um, shop, though, where you can find all my stuff. And actually buying my stuff there helps support my channel and creates more content, though, for you guys. So, thank you very much and on to the rest of the video.